<laughs> I made a mistake, I fucked up. Wait, when you come see your new room? The slowest dog I've ever met going up the stairs. It's pretty nice in here. <laughs> It is the morning of the Mr. Tate master bedroom flip reveal. I am so excited. It's been five days, I think, of renovations. And one, I'm so excited because just like, I'm excited. And two, Jeremy and I sharing a double bed right now is really testing the strength of our relationship. So I'm also super excited to be back in our bedroom to have our king bed back. And so we actually up from a Cali king to a regular king. So I think we have six inches more more like width wise because we're dying. We're literally dying in this double bed. So I'm so excited to move back into the bedroom, the new and improved Mr. Kate bedroom. I feel like I have so much more to say after I see it, obviously. And the reaction will be on Mr. Kate's channel in her main video where you can see the whole process. But I think expectation wise, based on my inspiration photos, obviously we did the paint reveal. Um, you might've seen it on our socials, but it's like a really nice, like charcoal -y gray color. You guys know, obviously like this was just like plain black paint. And then the DIY room, was like a super, super dark charcoal gray, almost black. And so I think the color that Kate ended up going with is a little bit lighter than the podcast gray, which I feel like is gonna be like just so mature and nice. And also like, will that be less bright in the mornings as well when the sun comes in? Like, I feel like yes, right? Like science would say maybe. So looking forward to see how it all comes together. And a few things that Kate and I like appealing aesthetically bad, ugly pieces in the bedroom. I agreed, obviously the vanity would come out and this is what's right here on my makeup is here currently and it's gonna be the new DIY room table. So I know we're gonna have an upgraded vanity situation and then I just said situation again. <sighs> You know, it's not going well, phasing the word out of my vocabulary. So we might just have to accept it. We'll work on it, we'll work on it. So I'm excited to see the layout of the vanity because they promised me lots of storage. And you guys know, like I bought this for functionality and obviously it's like really cute, but she is large and she is in charge. And it's based upon my shit. And then the dog crate, I feel like we can only go up from like the wire crate. So I know that's gonna be cuter than what I currently have. So it's an upgrade all around. Kate and I already discussed this. My bedroom has kind of been the place where furniture goes to die. It's like the one room that I really have not spent much time giving the TLC that it probably deserves. So it's been so fun having Kate and her team come in who have been honestly so incredible. A massive, obviously huge thank you to Mr. Kate and Joey for coming in and doing this, but also their team is the nicest and most considerate group of people that have ever been in my house. I've had a lot of shoots here and typically they're a fucking nightmare. Like an actual nightmare. I feel like I'm rambling at this point because I'm really excited. So talk to you in a little bit. I'm about to get mic'd up and then I think it's happening right after that. And I can give you guys a little tour obviously, but the main reaction will be in her video. So go check that out. I will leave a link in the description and um, it's almost reveal time. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> I haven't done the reveal yet. I made a mistake. I fucked up. I uh, had a delivery, got some donuts for like the crew and the team, just like last day celebrations. And I meant to get 12 because last time I got two boxes of six. And so I meant like two of six, two boxes of six, but I accidentally said two dozen. So I now currently have 24 donuts, which is like not the worst problem to have. Like, let's be honest, but it's double the amount of donuts that I expected. And my best guess is that there's 12 people max right now in my house. So everyone gets a donut to go as well after the shoot wraps but like look how good these look oh my god oh my god california donuts open 24 hours a day honestly even at like three in the morning still has a line this is like one of the best places in la i personally think oh my god are you kidding oh my god well thank god these look delicious because we have 24 of them oh my god oh I don't want to show too much. You have to go watch the full video. We just did the reveal. <gasps> oh my god. It's so different in here. Like it's, oh there's Joey taking some pictures. <laughs> no, like, don't be Hello. Sorry. <laughs> you know, we gotta get all those Pinterest worthy yep. photos yep. because I do believe that this room is very Pinterest worthy now. Oh my god, yeah, 100%. Oh my god, oh my god. So go watch the so video. Fun. It's so cute. So we called it Lord DIY 9.0. Nine years on YouTube. We've really evolved yeah. and it's happening. It's totally different, and but I think that it really Speak. I hope it speaks to your soul because you have a great one. <laughs> <laughs> because your soul is you like pretty good. <laughs> it's like hitting it. 
I mean, you guys saw the paint color reveal already, so like that's not a surprise. Yeah. You get a little sneak peek at the chandelier. You saw oh, this might be a DIY. You have to go check out head. the video though to see how we solved her. I need a vanity oh my God. in this room. Well, like room. all of the fun stuff is on this side of the camera. That's true. you know what I mean. Like, like all of the creative, like custom built stuff. Excuse me, you DIY that artwork. That's pretty damn fun. That's pretty damn fun. But we're gonna hide this behind my big head right there. Yeah. There we go. I had it. <laughs> Uh, it's so good. It's so exciting. Oh, this, the color is so good. It's I love so, it. It's, it's so, so good. It's a, the warmest gray. Yeah. It's yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. Like a welcoming. It's, it is a welcoming gray. Yeah. It is a welcoming gray. Also, I need to show you guys. Oh, wait. No, I, don't, I can't show you. I can't show you. <laughs> I'm going to show you how obnoxiously large the TV is that oh, Jeremy put that in Jeremy, here. Yeah. Design wise? Mm. <laughs> he was like, oh, yeah, I ordered a new TV. And then we saw the box. We were like, like oh, wait, okay. That's that's you know I will what? say it lines up pretty well with the end of the it fireplace. Does. It does. Yeah. And at least it's like a very seamless like edge to it. Right, but, right, right, right. But still, Jeremy. Is she big? She large. She's she thick. <laughs> she thick. Thank you, Mr. Kate. Oh and Joey. Thank does you. Joey get to be Mr. Joey? Or like As Mrs.? Mr. Oh, Mrs. Joey. Mm -hmm. No, I'm kidding. Or you can call me whatever you want. Mr. Kate and Mrs. Joey. I love that for you guys. <laughs> Um, so thank you guys. Go watch the video. I've said that 19 times, but seriously, go watch the video. It's gonna be great. Yeah. And who are you doing next? Do you know? We don't know. Okay. Vacation. We're gonna do vacation. We're gonna do vacation next. Okay. And then if there's anyone that you want to see Mr. Keith do next, oh, yeah. put it in the comments. Give us some ideas. That's yeah. true. Very yeah. good idea. There thank you. Go. you. We need You're, welcome. Help. You're welcome. You're yeah, welcome. Okay. okay. Bye! Hi guys, it has been a week or so, maybe even a little more, maybe like a week and a half since the Mr. Kate room makeover and we've been in here living in it, doing our thing, but I have been so insanely busy. If you saw a few days ago's vlog, I was at sneaker school for four days and those were like 12 hour days. So like a bitch has been busy and I don't remember what my excuse was for this being late prior to sneaker school, but I haven't moved Moose into his master bedroom and I feel like that's the highlight of the vlog if we're being honest because obviously the entire room reveal is in Mr. Kate's video. This is the Moose Master bedroom reveal. I was also waiting on one little thing to go into the outlet before he moves in. Not that I think Moose is a conduit for electricity, but I wanted to get those little like baby outlet plugs. I feel like there's not a single chance that something bad could happen, but the helicopter mom in me didn't want to move him in until those little like plug protectors came. I can already feel how much of a helicopter mom that I'm going to be uh, with a human child because I, I just, I can see it. I can see it with Moose. So anyways, um, his crate is still right here and he's just been living in his like normal crate, which I'm not kidding. If you have a puppy, I highly, highly, highly recommend crate training. It was the best thing we ever did with Moose. He loves his crate so much. Like I genuinely can't foresee us ever moving him out of a crate. He is just so comfortable. It's like his little space, his little bedroom. We have one upstairs and we have one in the living room. He just hangs. We don't really put him in the crate when we leave the house. He just like loves his crate. So in an effort to make it more aesthetically pleasing within the new main bedroom. Um, obviously, I tasked Mr. Kate and Joey with coming up with some kind of creative solution for this. And the dimensions of his crate are actually bigger now that he's got like his new master bedroom. So let me show you up close the before and after room tour <laughs> for Moose's new bedroom. Here is the current bedroom setup. Uh, he's got his bed. He's got his Christmas blankies. It's not like I change his blankets out throughout the year, but this one was a collab that we did with our den forever ago and like that is moose like this is a moose christmas blanket and it's just so soft and fuzzy he loves like these fleece ones gonna be honest i know we joked a lot in mr kate's video about upgrading from the christmas blankets this one is just so soft and it's obviously covered with his scent so i'm gonna move this one into his new bed as well this one we won't need anymore um i usually have this one and this one over top because if you do crate training you know that they usually like to have the sides covered so it's nice and cozy and dark at night so i've got this one and then this one goes with the front but okay so let's move this out here is the size of the current crate. I forget what the actual dimensions are. We've also got some other blankies here. This one and this one. So aesthetically pleasing and also pretty soft. It's not as soft as the fleece blanket, but this one's really soft. So you enter Moose's new bedroom and we've got all of these like little openings. I looked at a ton of different crate builds um, for similar projects. There's a lot of like living room end tables that have been transformed and like architectured into a crate. 
because I think a lot of other people want to find like creative solutions to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing but still functional. So this design has been really popular and definitely cannot take credit for the design of it. And then it's just on a sliding track here. So it just does like a little roll to close. And I think he's got an extra, I think it might be like eight inches longer this way. Ooh, also this footage is getting a little bit grainy. Apologies, it's getting a little dark. So you might have to bust out the ring light so we can have optimal room tour happening. And here is the outlet that I want to put the baby protector in. And then I also won't need the blankets on the side and the top now because they'll have a nice little dark nook here. Also, I can't remember how much I've showed you guys of like this part of it, but here's a little sneak peek. Okay, let me get the ring light. We'll do a little move-in vlog. Okay, moose Christmas blankie, moose big comfy gray bed. Ugh. I also got this like little doggy memory foam pad at Home Goods. Not that Moose needs any more memory foam under his already memory foamed bed. I just want the best for Moose, okay? I just want the best. So I might need to get a second one of these. We'll see how it fits in here. But we got the ring light. We got our little setup over here. I've used this table as a tripod for a moment. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, we'll have to get a second one of these. Okay. Oh, it's gonna fit so good. Oh my God, he's gonna be so excited. Okay, so maybe this will be our little entrance area here. Okay, so I've decided because of nostalgia and because it was such an ongoing joke about the Christmas blankets, I think for the back of the crate where I don't have the memory foam, I'm just gonna build a little mat for the back here with the Christmas blanket. Also, tested by Joey first. I can completely fit in here. It's pretty cushy. It's pretty comfortable. Okay, we've got our Christmas blanket in. I can do a full. A full spin. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. If this is good enough for me, Moose is gonna be obsessed with this. Oh my god. I was about to jump into like another segment, but I think I'll just stay in here. Moose also, because he's so comfortable in his crate, we don't really use the crate for any kind of like security purposes, if that makes sense. Probably just leave this open and he sometimes sleeps in the bed with us, but more just like enjoys his crate, like chooses his crate over us. Most of the time we just leave his crate door open. So we'll have like a nice sliding door. This is nice. I just realized that like he'll We'll also get like a little entrance area almost. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Okay, so we've got our memory foam pad. We've got our little blanket here. Let's get his bed. Christmas blankie. Baby proof outlet protectors. Going in with the bed. Oh, it's the perfect fit. I think, oh yeah, see like, look at, there's a little area here. I think you'll want it all the way at the back though. The smallest amount that I could buy these in was like a 32 pack. So if any of my pregnant friends need a shit ton of these outlet covers, just let a bitch know because I have lots. Okay, little entrance. Got Moose's bed. And then we've got these outlet covers. I have a feeling there's gonna be hard. Oh, no, that was really easy. Okay, safety first, safety first. Oopsies, this one's upside down. Oh, damn it, make sure I flip it. I think it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Safety for Moose confirmed. I just wanna say that I'm aware as to how extra I'm being. So we've got some memory foam, we've got a blanket, we've got his bed, we've got his Christmas blankie, we've got his outlet protectors. And I know that Moose could probably sleep on a, a Kleenex on like the wood floor, but I just, I just, I just, why not be comfy if you can be comfy? So I grabbed some toys. He's not really a big toy guy in his crate. But I just realized this, this koala has had uh, a DIY nose job. Um, um, sorry about that, Mr. Oh, fixed. So we've got a little koala, matches the interiors. This donut matches a little bit less, but that's okay. Got a donut. And then I have this elephant, but he's kind of big. I feel like he's taking up too much room. Not that there isn't room to spare, but I feel like he's hogging a lot of space. I think we'll just go with the koala and the donut. That's pretty cute. A little room decor for the bubbies, you know? Moose, Moose. You want to come we'll see your new room? You want to come see your new room? Come on. Okay. Come on. Moose, come on. I see a little wiggle tail. Come on, Moose come. The slowest dog I've ever met going up the stairs in his zigzag formation. <laughs> oh my goodness, bubbies. Oh, it's room reveal time. My tail, if I had a tail, would also be this waggy. Oh my goodness, bubbies. Come on, come on. Don't trip over the ring light cord. Nope, nope, nope. We're going this way. Moose, what's this? What's in here? What is in here? Oh my, are those all your things? Are those all your things? Oh my goodness. I think he's looking for a treat. My voice, I feel like, is really high right now, and he's like, oh, this is the treat voice. Bubbies, come check out your new room. What's in here? Is that your bed? Bubbies, what's this? What's this? I have no food for you. I have no food. I know you're looking for food. I have no food. Why are you so out of breath? You only walked up the stairs. Okay, uh, Moose, I'll come in first if you want me to. Wow, Bubbies, super comfortable. It's pretty nice in here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Bubby, that's so nice. You like it? You like it? It's so cozy. Okay, you're being so dramatic, Moose. You literally walked up one flight of stairs. What do you think? What do you think? Also, the lighting is so atrocious in here. I'm so sorry. Sniff of approval? What do you think? A comfy? A comfy boy? 
Sleepy boy, got it. This seems like a success if I've ever seen one. I will say it's a little tight with both of us in here, mostly because Moose is hogging all of the bed and there's lots of excess space here, but instead he's got me pinned up against this wall here. Good thing I plugged the baby outlets. So, I mean, I think that we both could comfortably fit in here probably for a night, but Moose is panting really loud. His breath is not great and he's hogging most of the bed. So maybe we'll work on bed sharing, but Moose, your breath is so bad. It's so bad. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave you to it. Get settled, unpack, get organized. Maybe say hello to your koala and donut friend. And I'm going to see myself out. Is that okay? Oh my fucking, if this is not the cutest shit I've ever seen in my entire life. It's got a little entryway, so much space. Oh, Bubbies, what an upgrade. This just feels like, obviously it was so comfy to miss Moose's home for so long, but like it just feels so cold and like sterile. Now that we've got like his cute little setup here with all his cozies and his toys and his bed and his blankies. There's something about like a wire that just makes it feel so much less homey, you know? Just a little less homey. I was trying to figure out how to fold up his old crate and he just crawled right in. Bobby, look how little you look. Oh my goodness, who is so handsome? Who is the handsome boy? Who is the handsome boy with the koala? He's like, it's me, mom. <gasps> oh God. <laughs> it's pretty nice, Bobby's. It's pretty nice. I'm gonna say thank you, Mr. K. Thank you, Mr. K and Joey for building me my own very bedroom. My bedroom inside of a bedroom. What do you think? Is this your tail? <laughs> Don't think that we'll need to sleep in here together as much as I think both of us would love that and enjoy that. But this has been a wild success. And I'm so sorry that you can only see the back half of Moose currently. I am genuinely so impressed by the architectural build of this like multi-use area. Obviously Moose has his bedroom, but then up here is so nice. We've got so many pieces of decor up there and like this is not as intrusive as the giant like wire crate is, but still just as functional and 1000 times cuter. And we got a space upgrade. You've got even more space to do your farting and your snoring and your dreaming and your snoozing. Oh, we're really getting comfortable now. Okay, well, this might be an issue for us to get out. Overall, like I am so happy with this build. It is so creative and it's exactly what we were looking for. And as much as I would love to stay in here with Moose for the rest of the day. His breath is a little bit stinky, so I will be exiting very soon. But this is a success. This is a major hit. We seem to have adjusted quite well to the move in. And again, a massive thank you to Mr. Kate and Joey and their team for coming through and giving myself and Moose the bedroom of their dreamies. We're so happy with it. And make sure you go watch the full video on Mr. Kate's channel. Let me know what you think of the room makeover and reveal. We are officially headed to Cabo the day that this vlog goes live. So lots of fun Cabo vlogs coming soon. I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys. Guys, I'm supposed to end the vlog right now, but this is the cutest shot that I've ever seen. <laughs> his little tail just like wagging in the back and just cropping at his ears and his eyes. <laughs> so cute! Moose, why are you so cute? I love you with all of my heart. Okay, okay, ending it for real now. Goodbye!